Hello everybody and welcome to this video of myself and Peter and we are here to look at the Bakun Alpha clarinet. Now the Alpha is the first in the Bakun range of clarinets. It's an ABS body specifically designed to be very lightweight and ideal for beginners. Also uh, a great option if you're wanting uh, a backup clarinet even perhaps and mm. I think that's interesting because the whole story behind how these came about is around that principle isn't it? It is absolutely um, so there was a, a you know in the summer in the United States they the, a lot of the orchestras go and do pop uh, concerts outdoor concerts and a lot of the uh, Bakun artists over there um, didn't want to take their uh, you know top end instruments out um, and so you know they Badgered uh, Bakun, and um, this is what they came up with. Uh, essentially, uh, you know, um, something that's obviously weather resistant, and um, but but plays at very, very high level. Feels like a professional instrument, really. Yeah, and I think when you're looking at buying a student instrument, it's really important to uh, think about things like consistency of build, consistency of sound, and evenness and ease of play as well. And there's an awful lot of things out there on the market. Um, good, bad, indifferent, some low price, some higher priced. Generally though, my, our advice from the shop point of view is to stick to the main brands. There's a, there's a reason for that. There's consistency, there's quality, there's spare parts, there's reliability. But I think of the available options, the Bakun is really interesting because uh, of a few things. It's the lightest of all the ABS models out there. Mm. And there's a couple of reasons. They've, they've lost some weight around the barrel, which you'll see doesn't have the rings and the bell as well. Now, you could worry that means it's slightly easier to damage or break. We don't have issues with that, okay? Any clarinet, if you drop it, it's not gonna go well. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but of its own accord, because it's ABS, it won't crack like a, like a wood might if it was abused. Mm. Um, so, great way to save some weight. They do have a really nice adjustable thumb rest on the back. So that as you're uh, learning, depending on the size of your hand, you can adjust that so that it feels really comfortable. Uh, and as you grow, you might want to adjust that and even use a sling to help support mm. the weight. But yes, from a playing point of view, as Peter's mentioned, it really is very immediate, very vibrant. But maybe let, let's hear a little bit, sure. Pete. Yeah. Just, it just goes, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it's... it's still got that density of sound. And, you know, when you're a beginner, yes, ease of play is massive, tuning and reliability, but also the, the thing has to play nicely. You know, we're trying to make music. We're, we're not just automons yeah. playing these things. Yeah. That's um, so it's worth bearing in mind. There's a couple of other just strengthening things I want to talk about, which is really neat, that Bakun do. Uh, and maybe Pete, you can expand mm. on this. There's a couple of reinforced keys, aren't there, here on the left hand, and and this bar as well. We should mention. That's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as you point out, the um, the levers here, the E and, and F sharp lever, there they're reinforced, as is the uh, register key here, um, and this bar here across the the, the bottom rod. Um, Obviously, you know it's got it's got the the company's logo on, um, but it doesn't just serve that purpose. It's also um, it's to help reinforce this bar here. So of course, you know, with young children, they can be very hands-on, very grabby, um, and so they might not necessarily take a lot of care when putting their instrument together. Uh, so essentially what this does is it avoids um, the bending of this rod. So, you know, it just basically reinforces it. So when you, you know, if a child grabs it there and they obviously then start putting, you know, putting the, uh, the two joints together, um, yeah, they're not going to bend yeah. that rod. And of course, if they do bend it, then it really puts these two keys out of alignment and then you're not really going to be getting any, any noise at the bottom of the end of the instrument. And It's a common issue. Uh, and... We see it a lot in the workshop at our store where kids have been putting it together and it just, if you're putting a little bit too much pressure, and it's just because they're getting used to it, they're not used to handling it, you sure. know, we've been doing it for many mm. years. And so that strengthening there and here both help uh, keep these keys in adjustment, as Pete said. One other neat little thing I would say is that Bakun use a particular type of pad and the pads are seated inside these key cups here. 
Uh, it's a black pad, which, okay, it looks, it looks great, but it's water resistant and it's basically waterproof. So it should last a lot longer than a skin pad, which are the white pads that you will see in some other clarinet models. Um, other than that, uh, the comfort is assisted by the fact some of these spatulas are a little bit bigger than on some of the upgrade models that we've, we've talked about all the Bakun range, actually, and there's a wooden step up from this called a Beta, which you can check out the video of separately. But that extra uh, length on these keys just helps those fingers yep. find a home, doesn't it, when, Absolutely, you're, when yeah. you're learning? Of course, you know, because if you imagine, you know, the average age of, of somebody starting out is probably going to be about eight or nine years old. Um, and, you know, they might not necessarily have the reach. And, yeah, so, so you know, they've obviously a lot of thought has gone into that. And, and the, the, low, the low pinky keys, as it were, are, are just comfortable. You know, they, they just sit out um, quite proud in order for, for small hands to be able to reach and not have any problems, you know, getting down to low F and low E. Yeah. Um, and it's that attention to detail which we really appreciate. And the manufacturing quality is really good. They're very consistent, very reliable. So the Alpha mm. comes with its Alpha mouthpiece, which is a good student model. Uh, it's really easy, free-blowing yeah. mouthpiece to play on. And it comes with a neat uh, backpack-style kind of case, which is protective yet really quite lightweight as well. So. All in all, a highly recommended student outfit and a great place to start if you're going to play on the clarinet and get into the Bakun school of playing, mm. so to speak. Absolutely. Um, but maybe, Pete, if you can just play us a little Ooh. bit more to blow us out. Yeah. 